Hi guys, Domgo here and today I'm showing you Actually, I don't know what I'm showing you But it's right here It's called the G-Connect from G-Technology So let's find out what it is Well, if you look, it looks like a Purbo drive And it is actually a Purbo drive But take a close look Over here you can see that it has a USB 2.0 port Now a few years ago, that's no big deal Actually, it's great But now most, if not all, of the purple drive would come with USB 3.0, which is 10 times faster. And over here, you can see a Wi-Fi label. Yes, this one has a built-in Wi-Fi network that allows for up to five iPads or mobile devices to connect to it and stream data store on its storage. Now, that's great, but it has no batteries, which means you have to plug this into the power source at all time to use it. Not so much for a mobile device. And over here, you can see a network port. This is a gigabit network port. And you can plug this device into an existing network to share the internet with the devices connected to its Wi-Fi network. On top of that, you can also stream its content to the rest of the network, like a NAS server. Now the problem is, the device has only 500 gigabyte. For the iPad, that is plenty, but for the rest of the network, that's not so much. On top of that, this network port here only runs at 100 megabit per second when the Wi-Fi network is turned on. Now, in that case, it's not so much of a NAS server. Now, the g -Connect can work as a portable drive or a NAS server or a wireless storage expander at a time. When used as a portable drive, it is bus power. And it comes with this USB cable right here. It's a Y shape, allowing you to use two ports from the computer. That's a good thing in case one port does not provide enough juice. In my testing, actually only one port is needed. Now when working as a NAS server or a wireless store expander, it requires a separate power adapter right here, which is very similar to that of an iPad. And in fact, you can use iPad with it. There's another cable right here that connects the USB port of the power adapter to the power port of the device. Now the whole thing about the bus power and USB to power power is kind of confusing. Now I suspect that the best use for the G Connect is to use it with the iPad, sharing the data store on it. In that case, you actually can drag and drop your entire iTunes content on the drive right here and carry it with you by hotel room, plug it in and use it. Now, the G Connect mobile app currently only available to the iOS devices actually worked really well in my testing. You can just run it and then you can browse music, photo and video and play back from the iPad from up to 100 feet away. This is me skiing. I am a professional, obviously, if you don't notice. And this is me and my ex girlfriend, precious memory. I bring with me everywhere I go. So there you go, the G-Connect here make a great almost device. It's almost a great purple drive, almost a NAS server, and finally, it would make an absolutely great expander for the iPad if it had a built-in battery, which it doesn't. Now the question is, how much does this almost device cost? Not almost a good deal, I'm telling you. $180 is too much for what it can actually do. For more information, check out the fullvsr.com. Once again, my name is Domo, and this has been the first look at the G Connect from G Technology.